And so just a quick summary on completing the square. I'm given this trinomial and I have to and I have to put it into vertex form. My first step is to go through that whole my first step is to figure out what the perfect square trinomial would be if I were just given these first two terms. And so this would become y equals x squared uh, minus 10x. And so that part stays the same. And if this were a perfect square trinomial at this point, I would know that there should be a plus 25 in there. Now, if you're looking at this, you probably already know that the number that I need to finish this up is a negative 4. But if you didn't know that, you'd know that the 4 was the result of the difference between 25 and 21. And you'll see a variety of completing the ex square exercises that use this format. I've added the 25 in, and I've taken it away right after, and I've moved my plus 21 to the end. Now the next step is changing this portion into a perfect square trinomial and then simplifying the last two terms. And so if I look at y equals x squared minus 10x plus 25, I know that the perfect square trinomial had a binomial of x minus 5 squared. And all I have to do is solve this part, minus 25 plus 21 is negative 4. And so I have a parabola with a vertex at 5 and negative 4.